is linked down below also, but I'll, it'll probably be linked to like Amazon if they have it on Amazon. Um, but as I show it to you, I'll tell you other places that you can buy it. So yeah, I'm just gonna get right started, or started real quick. First, my Yeti, my Yeti, my Yeti, my Yeti, my Yeti. I only drink water out of here, even though I could drink other things. I just dropped it on concrete the other day. And this goes for like Stanley's and stuff too. Um, and any just like big water bottle. I love my Yeti just because like it's like machine washable, but, but I'm sure a lot of water bottles are. Um, but my point is I'm somebody who really, 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 really struggles to drink water. Um, and the reason, so I didn't understand the Yeti, not the Yeti, the Stanley. I, I, I don't get it. I still don't like Yeti or I don't understand Stanley over other things. Um, but my boyfriend had a different kind of Yeti, so I figured I'd also get a Yeti. Regardless, I was sitting on the couch one day, and I was like, I literally, I need to start drinking water. And the way I sit on the couch is I sit um, facing the TV, and I sit with, like, my knees up against me. And I was like, it would be so nice. It would be so nice to have a water bottle that just sat perfectly in my lap, and I just have to, like, lean over, and the straw's right there. And I drink so much w more water with this. I also have, like, bladder problems. It's, um, like, interstitial, um, cystosis or cystitis or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but it basically feels, it makes me more prone to have UTIs, and, um, it feels like I have UTIs when I don't. Um, it's caused by a lot of things. Um, like, it flares up from a lot of things, and there's not really a way to, like, actually fix it, but there's ways to, like, make it better. Um, so, like, it's spicy foods and caffeine, like, when I drink caffeine afterwards, I'll literally, like, notice, like, it literally, like, I'll hurt, um, so I still drink caffeine knowing it's gonna happen because it's not as bad as it could be, um, but I have been drinking so much more water and it's so much better than it used to be, um, but yeah, anyways, if you need to drink more water, I love them, I love that the Yeti slash, I know the Stanley's do and other ones, they're huge, but they also fit in cup holders,
most of the time I won't I won't do any pinks or reds or anything but for some reason I love this stuff now that's good but it gets better with this this is the mix this is juice gloss um, electrolyte it infused color this looks fucking hideous on me on its own um, it's pomegranate clout um, this lip gloss with just a little bit of this which is let me show you this is bright as hell that is not for me with just a little bit of this
my skin likes both of them. Um, I have pretty normal skin. Sometimes it's oily, but when I do, like linamycin or tretinoin or any of the things, my skin gets pretty dry. But my skin likes moisturizers, similar to these. Um, you can get this at Ulta, and I'm sure their own website, um, and probably Korean skincare websites. It says it's made in Korea, so. Um, and then this, you can probably get at certain drugstores, but you can also for sure get at Ulta. Okay. My skin loves good light. My skin, I'm not, I'm not sponsored at all. I would love to. Good light, if you want to sponsor me, I, please. My skin loves good light, though. I don't, I don't know. It's like I used this for one night, and then the next morning my skin woke up. It was that much smoother. Um, maybe just because it's exfoliating, but this stuff I love. Um, I was using it every morning and night, but I'm, if I'm seeing if my skin is fine with it less. Um, and so far it is. I've been doing it just like every other night. I'm gonna do it probably every night here soon. Um, I might not use it on the same nights that I use this because that just is a lot for no reason, I feel like. Um, but my skin loves this stuff. It's just the Moon Glow Milky Toning Lotion. Milky Toning Lotion. I just love this stuff. This, this is all the grail for sure. Um, I feel like Good Light is a very underrated brand, but I just ordered their their new like lip product. I actually don't know if it's new, but it's new on Ulta. So I just ordered their lip thing, and yeah, love that brand. You can get that at Ulta. Um, this I got off of Amazon because Anua has an Amazon site, um, but it's the Anua Niacinamide 10% plus TXA 4% dark spot correcting serum. No dark spot serums worked as fastly for me as this one did. I still have acne scars, but the ones that haven't been there for a long time, like, because these ones just won't budge. I need to get some that's going to take a long time to fix. Um, but the easy, like the newer acne scars, vanished with this stuff. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. I, I love this stuff. Got it on Amazon. You can get it at, like, Yes Style. Stuff like that. Um, not gonna get too in-depth. This is the Bumble and Bumble, um, Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. Um, I use this as a heat protectant, um, before I, like, straighten my hair and whatnot. I spray my hair and I brush it out. Um, especially with bangs, it's really come in handy because I have to style my bangs every single day. Um, this has kept my bangs so much healthier than they would have been without it. Um, I don't know. I love this stuff. I feel like it's very, um, hydrating for dry hair. Um, I love that stuff. I will use it for a very long time, I feel like. Um, like, I, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. God, this is a long video. Next. I've had this for probably a year, give or take now. Um, I use this instead of a loofah. This is an African exfoliating net. I got mine from CC's Closet, I believe is what it, the website was called. Um, but use it instead of a loofah. Um, it is literally a net. Um, what I do, I use a bar body wash, and I take that and I just rub it ev on every inch of this, and then I just, like normal, and I wash my body with this instead of a loofah. Um, it is so much more exfoli- like it exfoliates and cleans your skin. I think so much better. My skin's so much smoother with this as a, um, as, com as opposed to a loofah. Um, I'm losing my train of thought. I've been talking and talking and talking. Um, it- what's it called? Lathers just as good in my opinion. Um, and then it doesn't hold mold like a loofah does. Um, so it doesn't need to be replaced nearly as often. And then what I do, once I'm done and it's covered in soap, I just rinse it under the water. The water will drip through it. Um, and then I will just hang it up in my shower. My boyfriend has one too. Um, love that thing. I will never go back to a loofah. Um, next, Anua, this 
place also is anywhere you can order a new uh, Amazon for sure. Um, this is the Hartley 4 Control Cleansing Oil. Um, please do not oil cleanse without researching how to do it. A lot of people will put it on their skin, they'll rub it in, and then they don't emulsify it, and then they'll break out. Um, and then this one, I believe, has a little bit of fragrance, so if your skin is sensitive to fragrance, um, I would check out another, um, another oil cleanser, but I would oil cleanse every single night. I oil cleanse every single night before I shower. I take two or three pumps of this, and then rub my hands and rub it, like, gently in all of the like crevices of my face and my cheeks and my chin and everything um and i do that i try to do it for like three minutes maybe more than three minutes less sometimes but at least a minute um and you rub that into your skin on dry skin on dry skin um and you will like feel things start to come out of it if you have very clogged skin you will feel it coming off um and like dead skin will come off too and then what you do is you get your hands wet and then you wet your face until it turns white until it turns white 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 um until this turns white and then you just rub that in for another few seconds um and then you rinse your face off and you dry it off and then you use a normal um water cleanser for people who think it's unnecessary especially if you wear makeup or sunscreen this will get that all out of your skin the way it works is it's oil if you don't use an oil cleanser it's really weird using an oil cleanser for the first time rubbing oil on your face because it feels like you're doing something wrong but the way that it works is oil uh, tracks oil, I guess, technically, so it'll help draw oils and impurities out of your skin, um, and then you don't want to leave that there, you have to emulsify it, so a lot of it comes off, and then you want to use a normal cleanser, um, like a water-based cleanser, wa like foaming cleanser, and, um, get all of the oil off, because you don't want oil on your, like, deep in your skin, still, um, so I use the B-Lab Matcha Hydrating Cleanser. There are a lot of great cleansers. It, it really doesn't need to be that deep for a cleanser, so I didn't include it in this video, but definitely double cleanse. I recommend going on TikTok or whatever and searching up how to oil cleanse and just scroll for like 20 minutes and then you'll know how to oil cleanse. Um, or like double cleanse. Long ass video, oh my god. It is the GG No Bump Roll On um, Skin Suit Smoothing Gel. Um, it burns when you use it, but let me explain. You you buy it at Ulta. I don't know where else you can buy it, but I get mine at Ulta. And after you shave your or or your legs um, or anywhere else that you would get razor burn, it's like after shave. You just take it on. You roll it on, and it'll probably burn if you have any cuts. Um, or anything it, uh, uh, tears in your skin or anything um it'll probably burn so what i do is like i slap the area and it distracts from like it hurting and it goes away after like two seconds um so i'll just like slap it like right after i do it it kind of just distracts your brain and then it's fine and then you won't have razor burn there's other way to not, other ways to not have razor burn but you know <sighs> This is my razor. Um, it's a safety razor. I am gonna be completely honest with you. I have no idea what brand it was. It was like some bamboo something or another, maybe. Um, order or just look up safety razor on Amazon and this one will probably pop up. It's in like a cardboard box. Um, but yeah, I got mine off of Amazon. Um, it is just one razor blade instead of lots of razor blades. Um and I get a very, very very smooth shave with it. Um, how it works is your razor blade will, will go inside of here. Um, so you stack the pieces, then you add this piece on top, and then you put this together. Some safety, um, safety razors, razors, um, how they work is they twist at the bottom, and it, like, opens like a, like, it's like a I don't remember what it's called. Um, I did not like those nearly as much as I like this one. This one, it literally just feels like I'm rubbing metal on my body. You don't feel the blade or anything. And I get such a smooth shave. And then when you're done, you just open it. You rinse all the hair out. And yeah. Um, but I, I love this thing. I love this thing. The leaf razor, the one that opens. No. I cut myself all the time with that. This, I'm not worried cut myself with. Um, some people will cut themselves. Um, safety razors are a little bit weird to get used to.
I get mine off of Amazon. I am trying another lash serum soon anyways. Not that I, not that this one doesn't work very well, but I think the one I just ordered is cheaper and people have been talking about it, so I'm going to try it. But this is the Babe Lash Essential Serum. Um, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. It's a little expensive, but it has grown my lashes more than anything else that I've tried so far. Um, I use this morning and night. I tried the enhancing conditioner mornings and then this at night. I just prefer this. I use this morning and night and I love it. Um, and I don't have like the side effects that you get, that some people get. Some people might get side effects from the Babe Lash, but I don't. Um, this is the Certain Dry Everyday Clinical Strength um, deodorant. This is my favorite deodorant. It is like $12, I think. Um, and it has aluminum, but like, I'm a sweaty gal. I don't give a shit if it has aluminum in it, as long as it's working. Um, I tried the Carpe one, and I really liked the Carpe one. The Carpe is a great brand, but it just like kind of was hard to use, and it didn't last very long. Um, so, I got this one, the Certain Dry one, and I love this. I love it. I grabbed it because I, I think I, on vacation, I lost my Carpe deodorant, and I was like, oh my god, like I need deodorant. So me and my dad went to a drugstore that I don't even have it where I live, and I grabbed this, and it's perfect. I ordered it off of Amazon now. It works very well for me. Um, obviously, you can still sweat, but like, it works so much better, and it's cruelty free. It works so much better than a lot of other deodorants I've tried. Um, this is the bar shampoo that I use. I use, um, my skincare is not all bars, but I do use, um, a bar body wash, bar shampoo, and a bar conditioner. Um, I use the Brixie, um, shampoo and the conditioner. I don't think I'll ever love a bar conditioner, but I do love this bar shampoo. Um, uh, my skin loves, or my hair loves this stuff. Um, I go every three days without washing my hair. That's all I can really handle. But, I wash with this, and rinse it out, and then I wash again, um, as you should be doing with any shampoo. Um, and I just love this bar shampoo. You can get it at Whole Foods. I don't really have a Whole Foods that close to me. Um, there's one that's like a 40 minute drive. The only annoying thing is if you don't have a Whole Foods, you can also order it off of Amazon, but there's a shipping fee even if you have Amazon Prime because it's sold at Whole Foods. You have to pay shipping and if you don't just go to Whole Foods. So when I go to Whole Foods, um, like when I'm in the area of one, I'll just stock up on a bunch of these. I like them a lot. Um, okay. And then this is just a Dermaplane razor for my face. Um, a lot of people freak out if they shave their face like girls. Um, but what I do is I take an oil cleanser, I just take something on my skin, and then I just shave my face whenever I feel like I need it, and I just feel like my skin sits on my face so much better. My my makeup sits on my face so much better when I have my face shaved, shaved than when I don't. So, I don't know, and I don't break out, I don't have any problems with it. Um, so, for me, it's all a grail. Um, this thing is a, like, threader, like a de-threader. I don't know what it's actually called, but when I have tags on the back of my shirt, I just take the little, the little needle, and I just, every, every individual, like, so, like, on the shirt, you can see all the things. You would just pick them all out. It doesn't take that long. Um, I just love it, but I use it for everything. This just sits in my drawer, and if I have a package, and I don't know where my scissors are, right through the tape. I use this thing for everything. I'm also pretty dangerous with it and use it to separate my eyelashes when I do my mascara. But don't do that because it's not very safe. But I use that thing literally for everything. I will never get rid of this item and if I lose it, I will get a new one. Um, and then last but not, not least at all, this is my dry shampoo. I borrowed this jar from my stepsister and I bought this shitty ass brush at like, what was it called? Some, I was in North Carolina maybe and I was at some grocery store there and I bought this brush and borrowed this jar from my sister and I got cornstarch and cocoa powder. If you're blonde, you only need cornstarch or if you have like like white hair, really light hair or whatever. 
whatever it is. And it, anyways, on my third day, um, usually my hair is a little greasy before I wash it. Um, what I will do is I will open my jar. And also, this is just like a mix. I, there were not any specific measurements. I just threw cornstarch and cocoa powder until it filled up. Um, you also don't even need the cocoa powder, even if you're brunette. It just helps. Um, and what I do is I take my brush and I dip it in there and then I, on the side of it, um, kind of on the inside so it doesn't get everywhere, and you just pat. You pat on your hair. I kind of got powder everywhere. I do this over my bathroom sink so I don't get it everywhere. Um, it's a little bit messier than dry shampoo, but it's so much cheaper. This stuff has lasted, this right here has been like a year of using it every like three-ish days. And then I still have more cocoa powder and cornstarch from the same containers left over. And they were like normal sized um, cocoa powder and cornstarch things from the grocery store. Um, anyways, what I do with it is, my bangs are getting kind of stringy, but I pat it like on the sides of my hair. I don't pat it like on, like in the, on the scalp or like on the hairline. Cause like it'll stick to like my skincare and it will gross. But if I just keep it there and then I section my hair some more and then I do it on both sides of my part again. And then once you're done, you just like go through your hair and brush it out. So much better, so much better, better for the environment, cheap, better for your wallet. I will never stop doing this, and it is the cheapest thing in the United it, in the United States in the entire world. Um, I don't know why I almost said United States. I've been very scrambled for this video for some reason. But yeah, that's it. I think I'm sure there's more. That 